Today is December 8th and starting temperature is, what does it look like, 16, 17 degrees. Starting temperature is 17 degrees. Starting mileage, 16752.3. 16752.3 So yes, as maybe you can see, it's actually snowing right now. This was not supposed to happen until sometime this afternoon. But oh well. I can at least get in a short ride before it starts getting slick. Which probably won't be very long. So we will probably just go up the road and down the road. And just do enough to get the three minutes in. So anyway, what ended up being the problem with my Kawasaki was the speedo cable broke. So it wasn't a freeze up like it had been in years past. It was a little more of a problem. Not something serious though. It's something I can handle myself and get it fixed and it'll be okay. But it's just a pain in the butt to deal with. And so it will be taking the Triumph out for a few days, hoping the part will come in by Tuesday. Depends on if they get it on the mail Monday morning or not. But they haven't spread salt on the road and we did have some nice rain to wash the salt away that we did have. So that was kind of nice. Because I'm a little more protective of this bike. And as you've probably realized, those of us that are polar bears, besides taking a toll on your human body with dealing with the cold, it does take a toll on your equipment on your motorcycle. That's just part of dealing with the cold weather. Parts that normally wouldn't break are going to break on you. And things that normally wouldn't happen or going to happen to you because of the cold weather. <laughs> but that's just a part of learning some cold weather skills. <laughs> and somebody mentioned, well, you took it rather calmly with your speedometer not working well getting upset although when I was younger I would get upset over stuff like that as you get older you realize getting upset doesn't make the situation any better and sometimes you do get frustrated and make the situation even worse end up breaking more things getting upset and mad over it so best to just calm down work it out and sort the problem out and figure out a way to fix it 99.9% .9 of the time, especially dealing with mechanical stuff, there is a way to fix it. You just have to take your time and figure it out. And as I pull the cable out of the speedometer, I also noticed a rough spot inside on the um, casing of the speedometer. So what you can do a lot of times if you don't have a lot of money and you want to just do a quick fix and sometimes it'll work just fine is just buy the inside part just the cable part but this time I'm buying both because I'm kind of suspicious that the inside part has got a rough spot that was rubbing against the cable and caused it to break so I'm trying to save 10 bucks or so by just buying the inside piece and having the same thing happen again is just not worth it so I bought the whole thing. <laughs> so 
So this is going to be a short ride with maybe about a mile, possibly, but it's something before the snowstorm hits. And look, now the snow's actually close to stopping. Oh well, we got another ride in. Ending miles, 16754.0, 16754.0.